In today's episode, I am going to talk about a big oops. Yes, a mistake that I made. I'm pretty sure everybody can relate to that. So stick around. Welcome back to my channel, KGFL Creations. This is going to be another episode of Friday Souls. Friday Souls, as you guys know, it's the day that we talk about what is going on in our sewing room, what is the plans that we have, and what's going on with life. Okay, so what is going on in the sewing room? So as you guys remember, my daughter asked me to make a couple of pajama sets for her. I know I talked about it a while back, but lately I've been making a bunch of stuff for me and oh, before I forget what I'm wearing today. This is the Classic Tee by Love Notions that I made a couple of weeks back. I think you guys remember, I made a little video about it. So let's go back <laughs> into what is happening in the sewing room. So she asked me to make a couple of pajamas for her. So I said, okay, I'm going to whip up these two pajamas. So I asked her what kind of fabrics she wanted to use and she chose two fabrics from my stash. As you know, I have to sew the stash. So she chose the fabrics and I'm like, okay. I asked her what kind of pattern she wanted. She said that she wanted something sleeveless. Okay, so I decided to pull the uh, laundry day tee. Laundry day tee is something that I already made for her, but I made it with sleeves. So I decided to make the sleeveless of the laundry day tee. I'll insert the cover for the laundry day tee here for you guys to see. And for the shorts of the pajamas, she wanted them to be a little bit longer. And so I had asked her, oh, can I make the same one that I made for your auntie and the same one that I had made for myself a while back, which is the Tranquil loungewear, the shorts. But the Tranquil loungewear does not have pockets. It's one big piece from, from here all the way to the back. So it's one one big piece. There's no seams here on the side. But she's like, oh, do you have something that has pockets? Cause she likes to put her phone in her pocket and walk around with her phone everywhere she goes. You know, kids nowadays, kids. She's not a kid. <laughs> to me, she's always going to be a kid. But they only, they always want to have their phones with them. So I decided to pull the Luna loungewear i think that's what it's called luna loungewear also by love notions i'll insert the um the cover for that um so i pulled those two patterns i laid everything down and i did a nice batch cutting i cut everything i cut the top the um, um laundry day tee i cut the top i cut the uh, uh band for the arms and the top i cut everything i went and i cut the shorts so that's where the mistake happened. I know you guys can all relate to this. We always make a mistake once in a while. So I made first, I made the two tops, the um, laundry day tee. I used my serger to do pretty much the whole thing. And then I left to do only the hem at the bottom because I didn't want to change into a twin needle in my machine. So I left them both there because I had to go and do the pants, the uh, shorts. Kind of like Bermuda, Bermuda shorts, not that short, but not, it's not a capri, it's kind of like in between. Okay, so I cut everything, I made everything, choo, 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 made everything, made the pockets, everything there, inseam pockets, as per everything, made everything, then I'm like, oh, let's see if it fits her. So I gave it to her and she's like, oh yeah, it fits. And then she goes like this in the back. She's like, wow, this is very low. And then it dawned on me. I forgot to check the rise, the crotch length on the whole thing. And knowing that, you know, we all have, I know I have a nice big, not big, big, but you know, I do have a, a nice behind. And she also has a nice, you know, nice behind. So most of the patterns don't fit us just like that. So we always have to add something to the rise in the back, you know, to the crotch length. I forgot to do that. So as she put it, it came right here, but the Luna loungewear, we're supposed to fold in and put the elastic. So if I did that, 
there was not enough space to uh, for her to, it was gonna be way way low on her so I was like oh crap now what do I do like I went through the whole thing I did the shirts the two little shirts I did the whole thing the pockets and all and now what the heck I'm gonna do I don't have enough space with the uh, the whole crotch thing here and it's just like oh my gosh and I'm like wow and I did it twice twice because I cut them together I did a batch cutting so I don't know if in the future I'm gonna do ever <laughs> again a batch cutting because if you have a mistake on something you have a mistake on everything that you cut so what I decided to do I had to go into the, the little bit that I had left over all my scraps I went into my scrap bin and I pulled the two fabrics so I decided to make a waistband so I did, oh my God, I was so, so lucky. So, so lucky. I had enough fabric to do a waistband. So that was just amazing. I have no idea, no idea. I'm gonna show you guys the little bit. I'll take a picture of the little bit that, of fabric that I have left over, because it's just, just amazing. I was able to do it. So let me show you the first, the first set of pajamas. This was the first one I, I did this little guy here this is the laundry day tea the sleeve is really really pretty this is a jersey cotton jersey from um, Joann's it was on sale so we purchased some I think this was three yards that we had of this fabric here so I did everything even the bands here the uh, I did with the same fabric everything came out nice and pretty I added my little label. I remember to add my little label. So the top was no problem at all. Let me show you the other fabric that I have. As usual, I have everything hanging on my tripod. So this is the other color. I hope you guys can see. I don't know if there's too much light coming through. Same thing with the laundry day tea. No problem at all. Did everything on the serger. I put my little label here. So the, sh the top was no problem. The top of the pajama was not a problem. So this is the Luna loungewear. It's a very, very nice little um, pattern. It has a faux uh, zip right here. That was interesting, a little faux zip. It looks like men's underwear. It has the little uh, faux zip here, the entrance. Um, yeah, so this little thing here, let me pull it. So this is the uh, shorts and the problem that I had was here in the back, the rise, the crotch here was not enough. So I decided to just cut, I cut, I think it was a two and a half or almost, almost three inches wide of fabric. So I had to cut two pieces for this whole thing here. And, um, I put the elastic inside and then I surged. I added the little label. As you can see here, the little, little label right there. And so that's what I had to do with the shorts to make it a little bit higher in the back so it's not too low and kind of, you know, going down on her. So yeah, I am so glad that I had enough fabric <laughs> To do this because then I was gonna I was gonna have to go and pull another piece of fabric another uh, cotton jersey even if it's from another color I think I have like two or two or three other uh, um, of this fabric here not the same one different colors to do the um, waistband so I was lucky and then the other one this one here was problem number two this elastic here it's a little bit tighter on her so yeah, I cut a little bit less, I think another inch or two. So this one fits a little bit better. Also, I remember to put the little label. And yeah, same thing. This one here, I had a little bit less of the fabric. Don't know why they were both the same uh, three yards. So for the um, waistband, I was one inch short. But since this is, you know, stretchy cotton, I kind of just stretched a little bit as I was going along. So that was okay. There was no problem um, inserting this whole thing here. But it came out really cute. It does also have the little faux zipper right here. 
and it's a nice little fabric for her it has the um, pocket here on the side the inseam pocket so she can put her phone in here and, wow I forgot to take this out I'm actually cooking and uh, yeah I am making uh, lentil soup so you know how it goes we have to do a bunch of things all together so work record make dinner all that stuff so like I was talking to you about the um, pajama set mistakes do happen and when they do it's just we have to adapt think of what we can do to salvage something that the mistake that we did that was good thinking on my part but at first I was like wow holy crap now what I'm going to do so I had to think on you know think straight think about what I was going to do and yeah that was it so what's going on with life not much has been happening I am just prepping for my trip it's coming pretty fast and I am looking forward to seeing my mother I have not seen her in exactly it's almost uh, a year that I haven't seen her so I am really really looking forward to seeing her I miss her a lot and what are the plans for next week I don't know I have no idea what I'm going to make I don't know after this whole blunder that happened with this uh, pair the two pairs of pajamas two blunders so I don't know what I'm going to do I'm gonna decide I'm gonna look in the closet and see which fabric I'm going to pull out and see what I'm going to do so that's it for this week's sewing adventure sewing blunder so just remember it's not about just sewing a perfect pattern all the way through stuff happens so we have to just keep on going creating and adapting so if I can make something out of the problem that I have so can you everybody can do it so that's uh, what I wanted to tell you guys that is just you have to just adapt and, and just keep going all right if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and also please don't forget to subscribe I will see you on my next video bye